welcome to Bioinformatics with Baby channel. My name is Dr. Baba Jan Bhargada Pavli. I'm an associate professor in Bioinformatics. So before the start of uh, any topics, I request everyone, if you have any queries regarding the Bioinformatics, you can post your queries here in our Bioinformatics uh, group page. And also here, this page not only provides you a question and answer session for you, they also give you the various tutorials which has been directly will post uh, in our uh, bioinformatics group page and also we are providing some of the uh, recent research articles in bioinformatics and also the online workshops and conferences in bioinformatics along with this you can check our uh, instagram page also here we are pasting the new or academically free available software to perform the various kinds of biological analysis so today's topic we are going to talk one more time about Arodoc Vina. This is the revised version of previous Arodoc Vina tutorial. So if you want to know the basic introduction to the Arodoc Vina or Arodoc, you can go and check my previous videos. So if you compare with this previous tutorial with this one, uh, this is as I told you, this is a revised version. There is nothing is wrong with the previous version also you can use the same one so here this is a little bit updated where we have uh, used a very minimal of uh, GUI graphical user interface we mostly use the script based one like uh, we have to use the uh, you can use this uh, version in uh, Linux or Windows where in both of system we are going to use the shells to run the auto doc so here uh, last few days, I got so many queries, uh, especially regarding this Arthrodoc Vena. So they're asking if we have a more than 100 molecules, if you have n number of molecules in SDF format file, how we can convert them into PDBQ2, if you have any script for that one. So and also, I got few more questions like, uh, so after performance, after uh, completion of uh, Arthrodoc uh, Vena results, so how we can find a specific, uh, specific drug which is having highest binding energies. Okay, so here, uh, whatever the step I told you in previously, you have to open the file individually, one by one, to check the docking results. Okay, it's uh, quite complicated if you have uh, more than 1000 molecules. It's very hard to find out the specific molecule which is having a very high energy. Okay, so here to uh, to answer all these things, so I prepared this comprehensive tutorial, how we can use the different kinds of uh, commands to run or to get the results in a proper way okay so let's start the topic so i will tell you how to do the installation especially in a, uh, okay so what exactly uh, this is things you needed as i told you whether you need to have a linux system or you have to use the windows system which is having a operating system of a 10. Okay. so let's uh, come to the straight to the point what exactly we need to do it first we have to install the few tools okay as i told you here go to the uh, store okay so here we're going to run so if you are a linux or even to use it you need not to do all those things you already have a script you already have a shell you directly open the shell and uh, do the rest of the analysis okay so here for the windows user okay just type uh, open to okay so here so once you get this one you have to install the open to in your uh, pc okay so i already installed this one uh, that's why it is showing the direct launch button for me okay so click on the launch button okay so you just need to provide the login id password here so once you've done this one uh, first we have to update or upgrade this your system so what exactly we needed in Autodoc Vina is open bubble and second one is Autodoc Vina so first of all we have to update uh, our uh, shell okay so open to shell we have to update sudo apt get update sorry sudo apt get So next step is sudo apt get upgrade okay 
okay so let us prepare uh, let us install the open babu so here uh, if you remember our previous uh, autodoc vina or autodoc tutorials so we use this open babel tool to conversion of your ligand molecule into PDBQT. so here the revised version is uh, this one the script based one you can come you can convert n number of n number of molecule into PDBQT, and uh, you can do the arrangement version of ligand so as i told you these commands are uh, similar for the linux and uh, the windows so so bad. apt install open So here I already installed this one, that's why I got this message. Uh, once you install that one, it will show you successfully the open bubble tool has been installed. You can cross check that one just by typing the command. So if you to check whether the program has been properly installed or not. So here you can type to you have need to type the OBABU minus capital H. Okay. So if it is if you get this information it means the program has successfully installed in the in the in your shell or in your uh, in your system. So the next step is we have to install uh, Autodoc uh, Vina. So do so you have to install the Autodoc Vina now. So you have to type uh, sudo apt install so Autodoc Vina. Okay. So I already installed that one. That's why it's not giving the uh, I'll install in my PC. So that's why it's not uh, changed anything for us. Okay, so once you have successfully installed, you just cross check that one just by typing the Vina. So if you find, if you run, or if you got this information, it means the program has been successfully installed in your system. Okay, this is how these two are uh, very important one. We have to install open uh, sorry uh, vina and uh, open babel tool so as i told you in a previous uh, uh, vina introduction tutorials we need to have a uh, two more program that is uh, mgl tools if you don't know how to install the mgl tools you can go back and check my previous video uh, installation of uh, mgl tool okay so here uh, next step what we can do is we're going to get over the two steps one is we will retrieve the 100 ligand molecule from jig database and we will prepare the receptor molecules uh, in the MGL tools and we will perform the molecular docking using the script based method. I told you in a previous uh, Jink, uh, previous Mina session itself also how we can download uh, a substances from the Jink database. Okay, there is a few options are available. You can search by the name or you can search by this uh, smile conical format. Also, you can, you can draw your own molecule uh, to look for the substances. Okay, so here I'm just typing one molecule. Uh, so here, this is a molecule color is a respiratory molecule. Uh, I'm going to check uh, whether the substance are available for this one or not. Okay, so here search for the substructures. So nearly you can see here, I got nearly 100 molecules are there with this. Uh, which has been almost identical to the respiratory molecule. Okay, so I'm going to download in everything in an SGF format file. So click here, SGF. I'm going to save this one on desktop. So let's create a folder as a Vina. Okay, so here I'm going to click uh, 100 molecules. So I'm just type the 100. Okay, save. So these are the 100 molecules. Now it's time to download the uh, crystal structures. So uh, I'm just using the one random structure here. It is not uh, uh, There is no proof that this kinase domain will bind to this uh, respiratory molecule But so I'm just uh, randomly selecting one protein to check the molecular interaction between this one and uh, the already available analogs Okay, so I'm downloading this file in a uh, same folder okay so the preparation of the receptor is the same as you have seen my autodoc vena or autodoc tutorial you can soon this you can you can use the same kind of similar kind of options so here i'm going to go to mgl tools so autodoc okay, so here So let's prepare the receptor molecule. So go to receptor read molecule and here I'm going to select the receptor molecule here. Okay, so first of all, we have to remove the virtual molecules. Okay, go to edit, 
delete the water molecule okay and check for any heteroatoms are there so as i told you in a previous video also if you have any other uh, metal ions or any other things you have to remove them by using this option okay so next step is so uh, if we have to edit the molecule we have to check for the whether any missing atoms are there in this protein or not okay check for the missing atoms select all okay so i have seen few more queries in autodog uh, there is uh, sometime you will get an error in uh, this missing atoms so at the time what you need to do there is a one option is available you can rebuild your bonding model by using the uh, various kind of homology molding servers so you just simply need to go to your uh, uh, go to the space model server okay click on start modeling paste your sequence here okay paste your sequence for example in my case uh, here this is the sequence i got from uh, rcsp okay you can click at your sequence here download and faster sequence you can get a sequence here you have to you have to paste this sequence here in uh, the modeling tool okay so here select this copy is one and paste here and click on the build model okay so once you've done that one it will show you the built model for you along with the which specific template has been used to build the model so we have to cross check that one whether this template has been exactly matching with your uh, pdb id or not so based on that you have to select your for example in my case you can see here so this is the one this is the structure i'm looking for phi cen and you can see 100 percent identity is there okay so i'm going to download this one as a pdp format file and uh, now i need not to use uh, the missing atom missing repairing uh, missing atoms in uh, uh, MGL tools okay so I will show you here still we have to convert that one we have to add few more charges to it we must need to use this uh, autodoc uh, tool in autodoc Vina also there is option is available for conversion of a PDB to PDB QT uh, but I always advise you to uh, use this uh, MGL tool by means uh, by you can look what exactly it's going and how exactly the charge has been distributed equally to your your protein molecule okay so here i loaded this one so by default it will remove the, all the uh, water molecule everything you now you need not go for the any missing return or missing atoms uh, repair you can directly go to edit here and click first of all uh, edit the hydrogen atom we have to neutralize them okay see so if you have any doubts here why we are neutralizing that one as i told you just go back and check in my previous page okay apply and dismiss here go to again the edit and here go to hydrogen here add the polar molecules uh, polar hydrogens to this molecule okay so again here now it's time to add charges here add column charges to your protein okay so here the column charges has been added again go to here the charges check for the total residues any missing atoms are there Okay, there is no article it means the completely structure has been the charges has been distributed very equally in the protein okay now it's time to save this one this file into pdbqt format file simply have to go to um, here the grid molecule okay choose select okay so here now save this one as a pdbqt So now we prepared. Uh, now we prepared the PDBQT format file for the receptor molecule. It's time to prepare the ligand molecules PDBQT. As you have seen, we have only one, one SDF file which consists of nearly uh, 100 molecules of uh, our ligand molecules. Okay. So first of all, we have to separate them. We have to convert them into individual files. Then only we need to convert them into PDBQT format file. Okay. So let us uh, go into this uh, shell. Okay. It's so clear here. Okay, go to that path of where exactly your folder is located.
city. So here my folder name is Vina. Now you can see this is my file. Okay, so now it's time to run the command. Now we have to split this one into multiple files. So here we have to use the option Obabel. Okay, minus I SDF and uh, 100 SDF uh, the file name, the input file name you have to give, and the output file should be minus O SDF format file and minus O capital O here and the small O capital O you have to use dot SDF and uh, split. Okay, so you can see here clearly they mentioned that totally 100 molecules has been converted. So if you go back and check your folder, you will find all the 100 molecules labeled with the same name. You can see here, so we provided only one molecule. Now we have the 100 molecules are there. The next step we have to use energy minimization. This is one of the very, very important step. So this step is we didn't mention the previous uh, tutorials or uh, winner tutorials. This is very important uh, before you go for the further docking step. OB minimize. Okay, so if you type the OB minimize, it will show you a different what type of a different type of force, various type of force will for you. So here generally we prefer to use this uh, uh, MM MM FF nine four force field. This is the best force field for the ligand molecules. Okay, so if you want to have a more description about it, I'm going to provide uh, in the link. Uh, I'm going to provide a link in the description box. You can go and refer to this link where it, you will get more information about this uh, force fields. OP minimize. Okay, so what is the input force field we want? MMFF ninety four. Okay, minus n. So how many steps you want to run send it? To run this uh, uh, energy minimization, okay. Click on dot .stf format file. Okay, so you can see here it's completely overwriting the step, overwriting everything, and uh, it will run all the thousand molecule, thousand runs, and it will overwrite all your SDF for SDF format file, SDF into add your ligand molecule into charge format file. Okay, now we added a charge to your molecule. Now it's time to convert them into PDB QT format file. Okay, so all the SDF we are going to convert them into the uh, PDB QT format file. So OB, OB Apple. minus SDF the input file start up SDF format file. Okay, so all the SDF file. Okay. Minus P, minus O, QT. So we have to convert them into PDU QT. And again, we have to start this time. So minus O, start. So hit enter. Now you can see. Uh, you have to type here the capital O. Okay. So here you can see here. So now we converted the 992 for 99 format into PDB QT format file. So you can go and check here. So if you click on the sort by uh, date modified, you will find uh, uh, the, all the PDB QT format file starting from here okay you can see here they have been converted as cpd so we don't want this sdf format file now okay so we are going to save this one into or you can delete this one into you can delete or you can save this one into separate folders okay so i'm going to save this one as a back file okay so now we have the sdf format file and like files or sorry receptor files we have okay so i'm going to delete this two also so i don't want them or I'm going to keep this two and this folder. Okay, so here uh, now we finish this one, and we have uh, the receptor and ligand. Everything is in a PDBQ format file. Now it's time to 
check for the grid position what exactly the grid position is there of your uh, ligand or receptor molecule okay so if you want to know uh, how we can prepare the grid for the receptor molecule you can again you have to go back and check our previous tutorial so uh, similar to the previous talking uh, previous vena docking uh, tutorial so we have to prepare the confirmation file where exactly your ligand should be uh, interacted in a protein okay so it's simply the same thing you have can use uh, you just need to go to the grid box and identify the location of your grid you, where exactly your ligand should be interacted I always prefer to use the grid value should be 80 80 80 the like uh, the box the dimension okay so here IG okay Okay, so here the IT. Okay, so here, uh, as I told you, if you want to know exact location, where if you know the exact location of your uh, uh, ligand, or if you know the active site of this amino acid, the method is slightly different. You can go and check my previous tutorial on Arthrodot or Arthrodot Vena, where you will find how we can uh, how we can prepare this grid box or grid values uh, uh, in. Uh, for the docking analysis okay so i uh, add the same thing here so the receptor uh, ligand molecule name and xyz coordinates uh, the information here and also the size of the box okay and uh, how many energy nodes i want by default i gave the only 10 energy nodes i gave uh, in this program i just am um, save this file in a confirmation file okay cona file okay so here so i have the four different files are there one is the receptor molecule and the 100 ligand molecules are there and we have this uh, Linux format file the Perl Linux file. so the same file uh, what we have used in a previous uh, Vina social so we modified it slightly here uh, we it is uh, now it is useful for you to run in your uh, Linux or uh, Windows based shell system or in Linux okay and also we have this uh, confirmation uh, file also is there so now it's time to uh, run the actual docking analysis so first of all we have to save the file name especially ligand file names in one text file okay so here ls ligand.txt okay so here i am we save that ligand uh, file names okay so the ligand all the ligand molecule file names in a text document so here we have to remove some of the things the similar thing what i have done the previous one also so we just remove the 90 we will just want the ligand molecules names so here I saved everything except only ligand molecules are there in our list okay so here we have to write the command pearl okay so here pearl vena okay so simply type this one and what is the ligand file name we have mentioned okay you can see here uh, the program is running smoothly Okay, so as I told you, it's depending upon your system speed. It will take some time for you. So here, approximately, it took one of uh, nearly 20 to 30 minutes for me to finish this job. So as you have seen uh, the previous session, also previous Bina tutorial, also we got the nearly 99, uh, 99 uh, uh, molecule results we got. So as uh, somebody has been questioned that how we can have a comprehensive list of uh, uh, all the results. Okay. So for this one, we just need to type one simple command here. Tail. So minus n11. Okay. So star dot log file. Okay. So here we are going to go write that one to log file into results dot txt. Okay. So now let's go and check this one, the results file, what exactly there inside. So you can see that here, so all the, whatever the, all the 99 molecules results has been stored here. Now it become much easier for you to, to check 
which molecule having a, which molecule is specifically interacting more strongly towards the receptor molecule okay so by looking at the results itself i can say that the ligand molecule uh, the ligand molecule so 26 is having a strong interaction compared with the other molecule okay now i can direct, directly go to the 26th molecule i open that one the similar way what we have done with the uh, the previous docking uh, results okay so previous uh, vena tutorials i will open this one and open the receptor file and see the uh, molecular interaction in between the receptor and ligand molecules okay so here so now you can change the confirmation you can see what is the possible interactions are there in between the receptor and ligand molecule so if you want to see the visualization uh, and the results analysis of the, this vena and check my the previous video it is also the same as uh, as it is uh, you can use the same inf kind of information here also so here we updated this information so this is much better and also much easier my steps for you so only you have to install uh, you have to install the uh, a shell in uh, windows and if you are a linux or unix users it's easy for you to run this commands uh, without any uh, without any issue okay thank you so much for watching if you like this content please uh, like and share and subscribe to our channel